it is your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today and we're zooming in and focusing in a little bit more in depth on the crazy making, the walking on eggshells, the crafting and engineering of jealousy and negativity around that swirls around a emotional manipulator, a malignant narcissist or psychopath. These people can be very testy. And testy meaning that they will constantly try to push your buttons, seek to get in under your skin through manufactured triangulation, splitting, and causing really what I would call uh, an ability to have people turn against themselves, where basically people don't have confidence. They begin to entrust in and take the drama, the, the crazy making at face value. In other words, those people who are, let's call them green, naive, um, new to um, being uh, in an emotionally manipulative situation, they don't know really what the crazy making is. They don't know what this feels like. They think that they are deserving or having to be tasked with the role, the job, and responsibility of hang, having to sort out all the negative aggression and hostility and crazy making that a emotional manipulator or a narcissist or a psychopath will ensue and try to seek to ensnare their victims. What is crazy making? Crazy making is um, crafted and engineered drama, chaos, confusion, conflict, basically a you know poisoning the pond, if you will, poisoning, you know poisoning the bottle, um, giving you a bottle with a poison with which they have saturated with their crazy making. And in the, in the beginning, it will be tainted with a good flavor, a good feeling, a little bit of a smile, something that you might perceive as positive. And so you might try to, you know, that might be part of the idealization phase or that, you know, this person might be just in your work environment or your family. And, you know, you might really want to have the desire to relate to this person and have a bond, have a connection. You feel this natural openness or this natural drive to want to have a laugh with them, have eye contact, you know, have um, an embrace, um, have something where you can be connected on, you can agree upon, you can then have the trust and that comes with time, repetition and experience. But really, there, you are always going to feel a guard up around a person who is trying to engage in crazy making. A guard meaning they are trying to scope out and suss out the situation where they can really get in and pounce and show people up. It has always got to be about them. And they cannot give or love for giving sake or loving sake. They are always going to get or strive to get that recognition, the um, the pat on the back, you know, the extra twenty dollar tip, whatever it is that they're trying to get that makes them feel that they are in control, that they are in power, and that they are love. They are always trying to seek this validation from others, and it's a, a never ending um, embattlement, um, a never ending need of them to have this validation. So. If you ever think that the crazy making is going to stop, they're going to grow out of it, it's going to lighten up, I mean, you can rest assured that this is part of their DNA. This is part of who they are. It is their personality. And it's kind of like love it or leave it. You know, if you are so um, targeted by this, set off and triggered, and find it very unpleasant to be around somebody who always needs to brag, show off, seem like they're the good guy and then likewise make others look bad so you know you can either you know give for giving sake and not for recognition you know not not trying to get all the credit while they're trying to crush and diminish other people um, they are not going to give for giving sake they're not going to work for working sake they are not going to love for the sake of loving. There's always going to be something else that they're looking to emotionally manipulate in the situation, and that is known as crazy making. You feel uncomfortable. You feel that there's something about the way that they stand, and they will have kind of a psychology where they're gonna to try to psych you out. 
through the looks, through the statements, through uh, the things that they say, the snide remarks. And furthermore, it can be the most oftentimes it's the lack of validation or a lack of recognition of you. It has all got to be about them. Do you see how imbalanced it can be? The very person who needs all the adoration, the validation, um, they are the ones that who need all the praise, all the glory, look how wonderful you are, oh my God, you are the best. These are all the people who need all that, but yet these are the very people who will not give it to the very people, oftentimes, who are deserving, who are desiring, or who are um, worthy of. And so they are going to reflect back really the inadequacy onto others which with, with which they have themselves so their very insecurity that they have that they will be invisible they won't be recognized they won't be appreciated they won't be loved all that insecurity within them they're going to project on a target in other words they're going to ignore they're going to invalidate they're not going to smile they're not going to say oh my gosh that was wonderful that was great that you could do this all the things that they need they will deprive and ignore you or you know, withhold from you. So it is in the withholding of this that is so, it's, it's so very apparent to those people who have studied this and worked this. And it, it's very funny because I get a lot of inquiries, you know, how do you know this? This is through years and decades of study and experience with these people. Um, and so it is something that I have um, you know, dedicated um, a large part of my life to understanding and serving and helping educate people to move through it successfully so that they can see their own divine goodness and, and get in that space because it is often so very deprived in people who have been targeted and hurt that they are so hurt and they can be hurt for years if not decades chronically hurt in this sort of um, crazy making um, environment that oftentimes the the hurt is so deep and other people have been in the mix of the crazy making because remember as we say with the emotional manipulator you know wh what good is one if you can have four so if you can get other people drinking the poison of the crazy making they're gonna jab people they're gonna make comments they're gonna whisper things in people's ear they're not you know they're gonna talk bad about the people who are deserving of the good they're going to continue that cycle. They're going to pollute their brain. They're going to pollute their ear. They're going to pollute their eyes so that they are now seeing through the lens of the crazy making through the engineered um, negativity that they are trying to put. In other words, they're putting a dark glass in front of everybody so that they will then become caught up in the crazy making. And so people will say, you know, this person is a bully or this tends to work or people give in, they backslide. It is because who wants to con you know, who wants to confront a big bully? Who wants to go up against the 300 pound gorilla? Who wants to go up against the, you know, 1000 ton hippopotamus? I mean, who wants to take that on? You know, who wants to be the one who's targeted? Hey, at least it's you. It's not me. I'm not the one that's getting you know, um, the crap end of the stick. It's gonna have to be someone else. Well, you might as well be a good candidate. Let's just go with that. So, the part of the crazy making is to understand that the emotional manipulator will oftentimes intertwine and interweave many other innocent people and get them to tip so that they are then part of the crazy making scheme. This is known as triangulation, gaslighting, and cognitive dissonance. And so, um, you know, they will, you know, then create, there's always going to be an instability created. It's not going to be um, a feel good situation. It's always going to be a engineered problem. There's always going to be an influx of this and you will oftentimes see it in those ways that I had mentioned. This is what is known as crazy making. It keeps people confused. It keeps people in self doubt. It keeps people unhappy. It keeps them focused on the negative and not living in the positive, not living their life purpose, not being happy, always having to worry and live in trepidation. You know, what, you know, am I not good enough? Have I not done this? It has you always worrying about their worries. So what I would like you to understand is that you are processing their negativity. In other words, what you are feeling 
if you are an empathetic person, you the you are feeling the pain that they are feeling. So there's an actual projection of negativity. And if you are around these people and you're aware enough, you can feel like you can always say you can feel somebody stabbing you in the back. You can literally feel if you're empathic, you can feel them stabbing you in the back. You can feel their looks. Try to look right through you. Notice the operative word. The word is try. When you know and are, are aware of this, you understand that what they're trying to do is just create the crazy making. Don't be part of the crazy making mix. Understand it for what it is and walk away unscathed. It is your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today and I hope that these videos, that they do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.